Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm, take two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel, we have 1 Timothy 6, 6. For godliness with contentment is great gain. So being happy with what you have and satisfied and yeah. It's kind of funny that that popped up today, but yeah. Okay, so um, off the hook, I have nothing. Um... I have been working this weekend. Well, not really working on what you guys would think of, but I've been working. All right. So, no off the hook. I have gotten, I did pick up a few of the projects that I have started and thought I needed to kind of get it together and get some of these done. So, I have this one. Which is growing. Okay. And it's just going to be one of those wrap around like this. So, yeah. And I'm just going to do it for as long as that is. So, nothing major there. Made a little progress. Not much. Okay. Then, I went back and picked up this kit. And... I think I left it just a little too long because I couldn't remember where I was at in the pattern. So I tried to match the rows, you know, and I was like, oh, I think this is where I'm at. I think this is where I'm at. And, um, yeah, no, it wasn't where I was at. And I don't know if because I put it down and picked it up, put it down, picked it up so much <coughs> that, yeah, it's, it didn't come out right. So, oops. I have started from the other ball of the yarn. And I have started again. And this one was supposed to be, um, when you got done with the pattern, five and a half inches long, I believe. Hang on. Hold you in here. Um. To, to, to do okay, it, it should measure about 14 and a half at uh, 14.25 inches by five inches. I wasn't even close, I was four inches across, so it should have been more like this, and it was more like this. So I started again, okay. And I'm just ripping out as I go. So, yeah. And it will get there. It will get there. So, my length is right. But my width was not. So, yeah. I started again. And I know where I'm at right now. And I've decided I'm going to go and put a post-it. Like, I have some of those flag post-its. So I'm going to run the little flag post-it underneath the part where I'm at. So let me know how you guys mark that because I know I hadn't picked it up in a while. And when I'm working on them and I'm working straight through, I remember where I was at and what I was doing. This time I had put it down too long and I couldn't remember. And I hadn't taken any notes. If it's a pattern of my own... I've taken notes and I know exactly where I'm at. But unfortunately, this is a written pattern, so I didn't write down anything. And yeah, it wasn't a good thing. So, <clears throat> the other thing that I worked on was I got another 448 yards of this. And I still have the two. Uh, eight round, eight ounce bumps. So, what well, are they? Four ounce bumps. Eh, they might be four ounce bumps. I don't remember. I know it's two pounds altogether, and I've got two bumps left. So, it is what it is. All right. The other thing that happened, and I'm hitting the camera. I'm sorry. Uh, my coffee's on here. It's early. 
the other thing that happened is I got my new kit. Yes, this is what made me start picking up the other kit. I'm getting behind if I get to where I have three, I will call and cancel because that means I'm backing up and I'm not getting them done in a month's time. And, you know, it, it is what it is. So, this one is called Honey Be Mine Blanket. Okay. I think it's cute. Comes with three big skeins of yarn. And the yarn, even though it's acrylic, it's really soft. Like, super soft. I love this. And it's called Geo, Geo Baby. Geo? I don't know. Um, but each one of these is 557 yards. And it's 70% acrylic and 30% nylon. So, it, it says that uh, there's free patterns and inspirations at PremierYarns.com. So, and there's a yellow and there is a light gray. So, um, yeah, I know that it's probably going to, it says it's a size 32 by 37. Um, they say that those are baby blankets. I use them and make them for lap throws. But, yeah, and it says it's intermediate, but pretty much, it's funny because, if you remember, I have that wavy one that I've been doing that I've been working on forever. <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to be something kind of like that. But, anyway, so I got that kit. I Like I said, I don't have it started. Um, it has inspired me to uh, get my other things that I've started done. But, yeah. there were some things that complicated this week. I thought I'd get more. Now, I did do some sewing. That's another video. But I did have some things that complicated my life or our life. So without further ado, I have a little clip for you and this will explain everything. Hold on just a minute. RJ, what are we doing? Cutting up a tree. Why? Because it fell down. It fell down. And then what else happened? It was in a storm, correct? Yep. Just straight line winds. Yep. Big tree went down. Got to fix a few sheds. Yep. Put some siding back up on the house. But for the most part, all is good. Yep. Just elbow grease. Alright. You got any other updates for him? Not yet. Just riding horses and yep. doing the rodeo thing, huh? Yep. Alright, we got to get back to work. Okay, so I thought about putting that clip at the beginning, but then you guys would think that we we're going to cover all the work, and I didn't. Uh, I didn't video a whole lot just because we were working so much, and I don't have the tripod set up, and I'm not used to carrying it with us. So, yeah, before we just had um, a little bracket that went over our phone. It was a tripod. We set it up there and just started recording. Um, but this time I didn't have the tripod with me. I didn't have the little thing. And then we uh, got into it. We had a lot of work to do and filming was definitely second. So there were straight line winds Thursday night. No. Yeah. Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Um, 
RJ got, he woke up to a couple of roofs gone, the sidings blown off of the stalls, um, three, three stalls just blown apart, no, four stalls just blown apart, one without a roof, just at the big tree in the front yard, and it was actually the smaller of the two trees, and it just snapped. Siding off the house, just stuff everywhere. So, um, this weekend, I went and went out there and helped put the farm back together. <sighs> we worked, so Saturday was cold, and we didn't go very fast. The older I get, the slower I get in the cold. So, it seemed like we were just going in slow motion. But we weren't. I mean, we were working. And Sunday, it was nice. And we started to push to get things done. Um, and by Sunday evening, a little bit more reasonable uh, time-wise. We realized we weren't going to get it all done. I texted my boss and said, I'm not going to be in. She knew what was going on and that, you know, I, if it took longer, it took longer. But we quit pushing at that point because we knew we weren't going to get it all done. And then Monday, we went out there and finished everything up. So Monday, um, I, yeah, uh, we actually took it a little bit more reasonable Monday. Um, I got up, instead of being down there at the crack of dawn to push, 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 we knew we were going to finish up that day, so I stopped at the uh, local donut shop and picked him up a strawberry milk and donuts. Um, I also dropped off the bills for this house. Uh, so, the only thing I didn't get was the prize mailed. I, I had planned on getting that done. I have it just didn't get it mailed because everything came to a halt, you know, so, <coughs> um, anyway, went up there and like I said, Saturday was cold and we moved really slow. It just seemed like we weren't making any progress. The harder we worked, the further behind we got. Sunday was nice and we got a lot more done um, just the one complete roof was up uh, we had another one that had to be fixed but we didn't get it fixed until yesterday we didn't get it totally done until yesterday so there was a couple of roof damages um, just I should have videoed it to show you but I just didn't it the work takes priority you know, I don't live out there now, so when I go, it's, yeah, it's get to work, get things done, and, you know, help RJ. So, um, it is what it is. So, um, anyway, we had to make one run to town yesterday. And we timed it right at lunch. It, we didn't time it that way. It just fell that way. So we'd gotten a lot of stuff done. And then we ran out of these long screws that we needed. And washers. Actually, we had like four washers left. But no screws. So we ran to town. RJ also needed to um, get papers on two horses. So he took those horses... We went in town. I went by the lumber yard, uh, stopped off at the bank. He went to the vet clinic. And then, anyway, we met and ate and then headed back to uh, the farm. So we uh, got all that stuff. And then, honestly, Sunday we were done by like. I got there about 8, so 
So we spent about six hours because I guess it was about 2.30, 3 o'clock when I left. I think so. We got the most stuff done on Sunday. Not that we didn't have as much time on Saturday to do it. It's that it was colder and I just noticed that I'm moving slower. The older I get, I just don't have that buzzing bee energy when it's cold outside. And it was cold and windy and we just were moving slower. So, uh, mm. there was a big tree that we did. Um, got that removed. Just stuff, you know. So, uh, got a lot of it done. Calf sheds back together. Horse sheds are back together. Um, I'm very sore. At least you can't tell. Uh, and mostly, which I know most people say right now, my neck is, is acting stupid. And it's, uh, what do you call it? Mm -hmm. Cramping. Um, most people will come back and say, oh, my lower back, my lower back. Mine is right here, my arms, and across my the back on my shoulders. So, this part. Oh, God, that hurts. <laughs> so, those, those muscles. I lift with my legs. I always have. So, my lower back doesn't really take a toll. And my legs aren't bad. Um... We cut the tree limbs up small enough that it wasn't, you know, like ugh, big heavy lifting. I did drop a little the siding stuff or wood or whatever you want to call it. I dropped one on my toe. And so I have a bump and a bruise. It goes, it's funny because I have the three toes and the bruise goes across all three of them right in line. Anyway, so that happened. Uh, nothing to, nothing horrible. Um, got it all back together. RJ does have an outside horse. That they're going to come pick him up Sunday. He got cut up. And RJ is doctoring on him. But he, yeah, it is what it is. So, Um, it's not like it was RJ's fault. He was in the stall. That the roof came off. And, yeah. So. But, for the most part, it's all back together. Um, there is one thing that I've learned over the years that RJ and I are totally different about. So, Thursday, when he woke up and all this stuff had happened, um, he had a bad day. He stresses out, you know, uh, he was late for work. He, Friday, he was so stressed that when he finally got to sleep Friday, Friday morning, he missed his dentist appointment for his roping accident. Um, he, uh, got called, got it rescheduled, got, you know, but he is just tightly wound and stressed when things are going on. Me, I am the rock through the stress. After it's over, I am just bleh, and falling apart. So he stresses um, during it. So Thursday, he was stressed. And then I went, uh, to work. And I talked to my boss and I said, look, I may have to take Monday um, because there's some things going on at the farm that I need to fix and it may take more than one day. And, and she asked me if it was a tornado. I said, no, it's just straight line winds. Just, you know, that bad. And that tree where it was at, it actually had snapped before. The, the top had been um, broke off. And I think it's because of where it was at around the house because it sat to the south 
of the house. And we're talking that it was just right out, right off the edge of the house to the south of it. So the other one was, had things blocking wind. This one was, it didn't it just, and so I think that it was where it was at was the issue. And so anyway, we took it down to the ground, but back on track, RJ stresses during, he had a stressful Thursday. I got to work and we couldn't do anything Thursday. He was at work. I was at work. Talked to my boss said, look, I've got to take some time. They said, okay, no problem. Uh, then I literally text him Thursday night or Thursday afternoon. I can't remember. He said, I got a plan. I called him that night, told him what all, you know, this is what we do. I'll come up on the weekend, blah, blah, blah. Um, And I told him that I had Monday and he's like, well, I don't want you missing work. And I have it. I had it with pay. I had day to day time. I was like, I'm being paid for it. And uh, he goes, okay. Cause he, he knows that we just got the bill stuff situated around to where we should start making headway. And uh, so, and he didn't want that headway to be lost. You know, <laughs> it's like, Oh God, mom. So, um, anyway, Oh, then Friday, he waited around for the insurance judge. He overslept Thursday night. He was more relaxed because, okay, we had a plan. Mom had it under control and I don't care how big you get, no matter how stressed you, he is. Mom's got a plan. It's going to happen. This is it. He just relaxes. It's almost like I don't have to worry. So he, Went to sleep. His phone, he forgot to plug it in. It didn't charge. It was dead. He woke up to 50 some missed phone calls. When he realized his phone was dead, he plugged it in. There was 50 some missed phone calls. He missed his dentist appointment because his alarm didn't go off because that's on his phone. And he was just, eh. and then of course I called him Friday, told him I've got all this and he couldn't get the impact, the drill to the chargeable drill <clears throat> to uh, hold the charge. I was like, that's okay. I'll borrow roommates and I'll come down. He says, okay. So it, he just, lots of little things. And he was like, how are we going to fix this so I can get it charged? I was like, it's fine. But by the weekend, um, and in the video, you can see he's back to being RJ. He stresses during the first part, I am solid during something happening, but after that is when I fall apart. So anyway, that happened. Uh, that's why I didn't get more done. I actually had planned on trying to get that kit done. Uh, that's all that's been going on. So I am going to, wrap up here, get off here because I just, yeah, I need to get some things done and I need to get ready for work. It's that simple. Got to get ready for work. And, uh, but all right. And I'll do the sewing in a day or two. So I did get a little bit of sewing done this week. All right. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.